This is a quick visit to the contour channel which was used to channel water from Canning Dam to Perth for four decades. Come along and have a bit of a look. This section of the channel is in Rolly Stone where a street is named after the channel. It is a small section that ends at a siphon before dipping down the steep side of Slab Gully to re-emerge into another section of the channel and repeating this a couple of times. I'm walking down a section of the contour channel. This bit's in fairly good condition and there isn't too much uh, scrub and stuff that are growing over the, the track so I can actually walk through it relatively easily. The channel is over 10 miles long. It required inspection every day to ensure any dead or injured animals or branches were removed. Small defects would be repaired at the time and larger issues noted for further works. Considering the channel has not been in operation for nearly 50 years, it is in remarkably good condition. There is only a small portion that can be walked today due to the regrowth or areas that have been reclaimed as private property. The contour channel is actually heritage listed and it's a bit sad to see some of um, this necessary firebreak activity uh, pushing through the uh, through the, the contour channel. Sometimes you think it'd be better off just to fill it in with a bit of with a bit of gravel and drive over the top of it. But anyway, the contour dam was built by sustenance workers in 1937 or up to 1937, and when they made made the contour channel, they used cement and the local stone to uh, form the concrete for the channel. And when you look at the stone, it is just gravel or laterite, as it was called. Here's something pretty cool. There's a bit of cement on the ground that's been put there many, many years ago. And the guy that did it's put his handprint in there. There are some letters in the cement. I'm going to have to look at this in post editing to see wh whether I can read what they might say. But I'm guessing there's a name there. There's something written just there and more um, markings there. One handprint there, one up there. And it's clearly a man's handprint, not a kid's. And all Perth's drinking water used to come from Canning Dam and run down here uh, towards um, Kelmscott where it was then put into underground pipes and sent to Mount Eliza at Kings Park. The interesting thing is that it's an open channel so evaporation was quite high and the other thing that had to be maintained all the time was the cleanliness of the water in here because there's lots of uh, wild animals in, in this area and up to those times, like 1975, the this would have been a bit more bushy and a few and fewer people so the kangaroos and things that died in here had to be fished out and also the runoff from the hill itself there was no barricade so it would just come straight into the da into the channel and any sticks and tree branches and things like that or stones would have to be shoveled out pretty much don't believe what I've just found it's obvious this is some sort of bike trail whether it's motorbike or push bike, but there's a ramp here and it shoots across the channel over to there. Bugger if I'd do it. Just to give you some perspective of how high this bloody thing is. You know, it'd have to be a good 15 feet, I suppose, maybe 12. This is a pretty good example of the maintenance that would have had to have carried on when they were doing it. So small saplings grown up close to the concrete, it split the joint apart and then you would have to um, replace, get rid of the tree and replace all of that uh, cement mortar. This might be an illusion but it feels like the slope has gently increased and a bit of supporting evidence is that any runoff from the hill has actually cleaned any of the debris out of here nothing here at all uh, and then up on that bend there you can see it all piled up
city of Perth. This part of the channel is a recognised track and is used by walkers, cyclists and horses taking their owners for a walk. Here's something that's a bit unexpected. I found this little ditch. It comes from both sides and then it's teed off and goes down to this wall. And the wall, I don't know, has a pipe in the bottom, but I think it either goes underneath the contour channel or feeds into it, but I think it goes under. We'll have a look. Just looking at the slope of that, it's definitely going underneath the contour channel. I'm not going down there to poke my head in there. It's too steep and it's very um, hard to get out of there. Probably impossible to see through there, but there is a stone wall and that's where that pipe comes out and it goes down the hill. This is the Under Canning Mills Road pipe. It looks like on the right hand side there is a, um, a, a bricked off pipe. I don't know whether there's actually two pipes. I can only see one outlet on the other side, but most of that was filled in, so perhaps there are two. It'd be interesting to go through there, but I'm not going to move any of those stones. This is the uphill direction that is going towards uh, Canning Dam. Haven't walked too far along here and already it's starting to get a bit overgrown. This is Dryandra and it's very prickly. Not something you should be walking through with short sleeve shirts. Oop, Christmas spider. Let him live. There are quite a few sections where the contour channel terminates and the water is carried through pipes, especially when it's crossing roads or going over gullies and um, valleys and it goes through uh, siphons at those points there. But there's also a couple of sections where the grade is quite steep so they've used pipe, steel pipe to uh, carry the water and then catch up with the contour channel at another point. And uh, I don't know whether we're coming up to one of those places now. Yep, it looks like we're coming up to one of those steel pipe exits now. Oh. Exactly what it is. This is the uh, exit where the water would have come out, the steel pipe. It's pretty dark in there, uh, grated off. This is pretty bloody steep. When you read about how they uh, got the sealed pipes into locations and then weld them you, you sort of you, you can't believe how they did it back in uh, 1935 it's nearly 90 years ago and you know just it's bizarre you know we wouldn't do something like this without heavy machinery but you can see the pipe runs all the way down goes up and where that lighter grass is you can see a bit of the pipe up there going up towards the contour channel around contour road I don't know when graffiti becomes art, but there it is. There we are looking across Canning Valley. And Canning Dam is way over there behind that hill. Pretty good demonstration of the thickness of those concrete slabs they've made. I find it fascinating where they've excavated a bit of dirt to make a, a supporting mound on one side of the, the channel, and then all these gravel rocks have been stacked up to support that mound. As I head back to the car and this part of the adventure ends, I am still trying to work out in my head where those chimneys are. I know one is located in Rolly Stone itself and it's seen so often it blends into the background and I doubt many people really know what it is and what it was used for. But that is for the next episode, so see you then.